Joe has 38 quarters. How much money is this in dollars? Well, 38 quarters could be written as 38 times a quarter, and a quarter is just a fourth. And that's mathematically equivalent to 38 divided by 4. So I'm going to do this division, 38 divided by 4. 4 won't go into 3, but it will go into 38, and it goes in 9 times. So I write my 9 there. 9 times 4 is 36. I subtract, I get 2. That's my remainder, 9 remainder 2. And remember, that remainder of 2 means 2 fourths. So that's my answer, 9 and 2 fourths. But the 2 fourths can be simplified. This is equal to 9 and 1 half. And that's 9 and 1 half dollars. Here's an example that involves multiplication of mixed numbers. We're told that the floor of a treehouse is five and a half by nine and a quarter. I'll draw a little picture because a diagram is always helpful. So here's the wooden floor of the treehouse. And one side is five and a quarter feet and the other side is nine and a half. So this edge right here is five and a quarter feet and that's nine and a half feet and we're told to find the area well the area is length times width so in this case we need to multiply five and a quarter times nine and a half the area of any rectangle is its width times its length or length times its width either way but I need to multiply these two numbers so I'm gonna write five and one-fourth times nine and one-half now to multiply these, it's going to be easiest if I convert them to mixed numbers. So I'm going to rewrite this. Instead of writing five and a quarter times nine and a half, I'll write this one as a mixed number. So I think five times four is twenty, plus one is twenty-one. So that's twenty-one fourths times this, the nine and a half. Let's rewrite that. I'll do nine times two is eighteen, plus one is nineteen. So this is 19 halves. So 5 and a quarter times 9 and a half is the same thing as 21 fourths times 19 halves. Now, to multiply two fractions, I multiply the numerators. So I multiply 21 times 19. I'll come over here and do this. 21 times 19. 9 times 1 is 9. And 9 times 2 is 18. Put it in a 0. Then I have 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 2 is 2. And I add those up, I get 9, 9, and 3. So I have 399 in the numerator, and in the denominator here, 4 times 2 clearly gives me 8. So that's my answer, 399 eighths. That's not an easily understandable answer, though. So let's convert this back to a mixed number, and this is appropriate. Our original numbers were given as mixed numbers, so it's appropriate to give our answer as a mixed number. So we'll do this division right here. 399 divided by 8. Okay, 8 won't go into 3, but it will go into 39 four times. 4 times 8 is 32. We subtract, we get 7. We bring down the 9. 8 will go into 79 9 times. So then we multiply 9 times 8 is 72. And we subtract and we get 7 and we're done. So it's 49 remainder 7. And what that 7 remainder means is really 7 eighths. So that's our answer. 49 and 7 eighths. That's the area. And if our original number here was five and a quarter feet, and this was nine and a half feet, and that's what they were in the problem, feet times feet, then we end up with square feet. 49 and 7 eighths square feet is our answer. That's the area of the floor of the treehouse.